New Horizons, an interplanetary space probe launched by NASA on January 19, 2006, crossed Pluto on July 14, 2015. One question which haunts people's mind is how could New Horizons keep flying for 9 years without getting fuel supply frequently? Let's find out. Imagine you're outside playing a ball game with some friends. You throw the ball to one of your friends that is nearby. A few minutes later, you throw the ball to one of your friends that is far away. You don't put a lot of conscious thought into it, but when you throw the ball to a friend that is far away, you throw it with more force. Why do you do that? You do that because once you let go of the ball, the force from your arm disappears. A force F is something that accelerates the mass M. Your arm takes a stationary mass, the ball, and accelerates it, and then you let go of it. At the point you let go, there is no more acceleration caused by your arm, because the ball and the arm are no longer connected. But the ball keeps moving because it has a velocity, and it will keep moving until exterior force deaccelerates it and lowers the velocity to zero. This is Sir Isaac Newton's first law of motion. An object at rest will remain at rest unless acted on by an unbalanced force. An object in motion continues in motion with the same speed and the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. This is very important concept for spacecraft. People often assume that a spacecraft traveling through space needs to be firing a rocket engine to continue moving, but it doesn't. When New Horizons left orbit, it did a big but short engine firing. This engine firing served to accelerate the spacecraft to a great velocity. The spacecraft would then continue to travel along its new trajectory without any added propulsion. Sir Isaac told us that New Horizons should continue in motion with the same speed and in same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Here on Earth, we are used to seeing things deaccelerate pretty quickly when we let go of them. That deacceleration is caused by unbalanced forces, things like friction with the ground or drag with the air. In space, once we get out of low Earth orbit, there is no air to cause drag. We are on no surface, so there is no real friction. But there is one force that serves as an unbalanced force, that is gravity. The sun is massive and thus has a huge gravitational attraction pulling things towards it. We often imagine it like a big heavy metal ball on a canvas like a trampoline. The ball stretches the canvas downwards causing nearby things to roll towards the ball. The canvas is curved by the mass of the ball. The closer we are to the ball, the steeper the canvas is and the harder it is to climb out. The farther from the ball, the canvas gets less steep and it's easier to climb out. So, our objective with the spacecraft that is to head away from the sun is to accelerate it to a high enough initial velocity that even though the sun is deaccelerating it. Because that deacceleration gets less and less the farther away we get, the velocity never reaches zero. We call this initial velocity escape velocity. The escape velocity is to be the velocity at which the spacecraft's kinetic energy is equal to its gravitational potential energy. The left side is the kinetic energy. The kinetic energy is defined as the energy that a body possesses by virtue of being in motion. It is determined by the mass and the velocity of the object, in our case, New Horizons. The right side is the potential energy. Potential energy is defined as the energy possessed by a body by virtue of its position relative to others. So how far apart are New Horizons and the Sun? Since it's the gravitational potential energy, we include the parameters relevant such as the mass of the two objects and the gravitational constant. So our variables are this, and solving for v, we get this. Any spacecraft moving in excess of that velocity will be able to escape the solar system without firing the additional thruster burns. The spacecraft is slowly deaccelerating because of the pull from the sun, but it started at a great enough speed that it is projected to reach zero speed at infinity. Here is a graph illustrating that deacceleration.